Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video. This time we have Zoro with 747 rating versus The Witness with 1070 rating. So it's going to be another I rated DB video and hopping right in. We will see The Witness win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot and they will decide to go first. 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. Opening hands. We got Ben 10, Gamma, Emergency, Medora, Natasha. Okay, so plain Medora in the main. Okay, they have Birth, Fenrir, Ash, Prosperity, and Theosis. So they will go ahead, start off with Special Summon Fenrir, Fenrir Effect, go search out Cash to Arise Heart, activate Pot of Prosperity now. So I guess just trying to like beat Droll by doing it in this order. Okay, uh, we see Babuska. Oh no. I see like a Wind Charmer in their deck and stuff. Uh, I feel like this means they're not playing like a good extra deck package. Uh, they're going to grab Ash Ball, so then put the rest of the cards back to the bottom. So we're just trying to make a Baron with that, obviously. Otherwise, we would have grabbed Book of Moon because we already have Ash. And then Normal Summon out Ash, turn those up into a Baron. Then activate Birth, Birth Summon out Fenrir, activate Theosis, go Summon out Unicorn. And then Unicorn Effect to go Search. So that's going to grab out the Cashier of Birth. Uh, Rise Heart Effect, Special... Rise Heart Effect to go banish. Because, like, couldn't they have also just gone, like, Fenrir? Like, add, add Book of Moon there, let's say, right? Instead of Ash Blossom, right? Let's say we grab Book of Moon. Can we go, like, Normal Rise, Rise Effect, Banish Unicorn, Overlay Draco Sack, Detach, Two Tokens, Make an IP. Uh, then we have, like, Birth, Summon Back Out from the Grid, or Summon Back Out the Unicorn from the Banish Pile. Then we have Theosis that can be used on it. Uh... I don't know, like, this is safer. Yeah, this is safer. And obviously, they're not playing, like, Heat Soul or anything like that. And they're also under Prosperity, so it's not nearly as good when you're under Prosperity. You go up into Shang, Pass, draw Instant Fusion, Standby Phase, Shang, Summon Out Unicorn, Main Phase, Instant Fusion, Pay a Thousand, go Summon Out the Millennium Eyes Restrict, Cyber Emergency, go Search, Grab Drytron Alpha. And then get rid of Benton to summon Alpha, but they have Ash, but like they have Millennium Mines and they also distributed Benton, so that's like another Benton in the hand. So summon, go search Benton, and then Benton effect to go search, uh, chain Unicorn, chain Millennium Mines on the Unicorn, chain Baron. Uh, okay, okay, so they really just want to look at their extra deck and rip a Zeus. And then they're going to go search out the Diviner. Oh, okay, that's why they play one Medora. I was I was wondering, I was like, why do we play one Medora? But I'm guessing it's literally just there as like a one of for Diviner. Okay. Unless there's something I'm just not thinking about. But they're going to go ahead lock a zone. Then make Link Karibo, normal Diviner, Diviner effect. Go down Herald of Arclight, Herald of Arclight effect. And then Fenrir onto Link Karibo to stop like an SP from coming up next. And then Arclight will go ahead, search for the ritual spell, Shang to lock. I mean, technically we could have waited until after they searched, um, but I guess maybe you play into like a Sir Arvis then. So maybe he doesn't want to do it like that because of that. Get rid of Ben 10, summon Gamma. And then someone back out from Grave. It's not like anyone plays Star Harvest in this deck, but I mean, they could. Ben 10, go search Orange Light. Okay, I mean, that works with the Medora very well. Uh, overlay into Mu Beta Fenrir effect. Go dump Delta, Ritual Spell, Detach. Bring out Ben 10. Wait, 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 wait. Before you head back, yeah, on res of it. Birth to go banish. And then Birth can banish like. Drytron, Drytron, Ritual Spell, which is just huge. Yeah, that's like a lot of follow-up being taken away, and the Ritual Spell, and they're going to go ahead and lock uh, this column, because, you know, Imperm on Birth, and then from here, okay, they just submit defeat. I was going to say, like, from there, where do you even go exactly? I'd have to look at the opponent's graveyard. I don't think they had, like, an attribute for a Charmer. Even then, like, the opponent has birth, but I guess we had orange light to be able to beat the birth summon back out effect. But we got Fafnir, Alpha, Lancio, orange light called by. Because, I mean, we also have Sky Crisis that we could make, which can out something. Like, couldn't we have gone, like, Dino Mondo, out something, and we can go, like, Sky Crisis, out Shang, 
Uh, so what, they had like Unicorn, Fenrir, Baron, Shang. So you could like, Dino Mondo, Out, Shang, Bounce, Baron, Be Over, something. And then you have Orange Light. I, I don't know, I guess it just probably, you probably don't win the game anyways. But with Fafnir, Alpha, Lanteo, Orange Light called by, they have Spellbound, Planet, Fenrir, Planet, Spellbound. Is this good going second in the Drytron? Let me think. Okay, so all phases of monsters your opponent currently controls can be attributed or used for a fusion, synchro, XYZ, or link summon this turn. What will that be used against? IP? Is that what it's for? Is it just for IP? Because I'm trying to think, like, what else would we do on their turn that would justify that for being a going second card? Uh, activate Fafnir, go search out the Nova... Nova goes summon, bring out Zeta. Oh god, yes, we got Zeta. Alpha, called by. So, tribute, special, go search, grab out Benton. Then we have Zeta, tribute Benton. Special, go search, ritual spell. Then Benton effect to go search. That's going to grab out a Diviner. Then overlay, make the Mu Beta, Fafnir, effect, dump Gamma, ritual spell, detach, bring out Benton. Then Ritual Spell Effect to add back. Uh, now get rid of Ben 10 for Gamma. Special, then Special Summon out Zeta. Ben 10 Effect, go search for Orange Light. Then Normal Diviner, Diviner, dump Herald of Arclight. Herald of Arclight Effect, go search. They said think on what they grab. Grab Idaton. So I'm just curious what their end board is going to be. I don't I don't know what they're trying to go for here. Because, like, you know, Drytron was always the deck that could go for multiple different things. Bring out Ben 10. And also, like, I've seen this deck, like, once in the last few months. And that was, like, I think it was the German Open. This deck actually topped the German Open. I mean, it's, like, a regional, so it's not, like, that crazy. But, you know, it was cool. So, Link Karibo. Oh, my gosh. That was not what I was expecting. Okay, so we make a Link Karibo. Appalooza. Pass. Uh, I mean, sure, you have an Apple with a Link Karibo to help protect it. You have Orange Light, Lancia. They draw Fenrir, drop Lancia. That's crazy. They have double Fenrir, double Planet, double Spellbound. What a hand. Activate Planet. Planet go search. Grab out the Cash to a Unicorn. Oh, also, it says cannot be tributed. Okay, so, like, you wouldn't be able to use these, right? Yeah, because Tribute one other. Oh, okay, 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 that's kind of cool. Uh, so, you know, they dropped Lancia on them, but now Unicorn, search off planet, Unicorn effect, chain Apo, shut that down, battle phase, attack into the Link Karibo. I mean, you could have also attacked on the Apo, right? It's only at 24. You're currently getting an attack from planet also. It's not like this is doing anything, but I guess either way, they're just going to Link Karibo effect. Set Spellbound, set Spellbound, pass. They draw Lancia, so get rid of the Idaton for Alpha. Okay, so... It's like, if that was our play then, right, why did we search Ida 10 last turn and not just Ben 10? Like, I didn't even think about that till now, but, like, we could have just searched a Ben 10, right, instead of the Ida 10, if our plan was to just, like, Apple pass. But summon, and, like, nah, they're, ha like, we didn't even get, we could have used this to add back too, right? Yeah, I'm thinking, like, last turn was actually really messed up. And I feel like you gotta be able to build an end a better end board than, like, Appalooza Orange Light. Uh, they're gonna go ahead, search Benton, then Ritual Spell Effect, add itself back. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure they didn't add back Ritual Spell last turn. Uh, get rid of Benton, summon Gamma, summon out Zeta, and then Benton Effect, go search Unicorn Effect to rip the extra deck. Appalooza, shut that down, go search out for Natasha. On res, activate Spellbound. They said think on that. Uh, we're going to tribute the Zeta for Link Karibo in response. Sure. Then get rid of Natasha for Zeta. Special. And then doesn't search. Okay, so just place the one ritual spell. And then activate ritual spell. Get rid of Zeta. Summon Natasha. Then Natasha effect. Uh, that's going to go ahead gang a thousand. Then pass. I mean... Sure, technically there, right? We could have, like, crashed, crashed, effect, go steal. Or, do, or this doesn't, I mean, this, they can still attack, yeah. So it's not like it's going to stop that. Hmm. 
They draw Scareclaw, Kashtira, drop Lancia, Planet over Planet, go search Kashtira, Rise Heart. I guess we still just have like Link Karibo plus Appalooza, which is strong. Uh, they don't even attack there though? Wait, did they just forget to attack? This only stops if they attack a ritual monster. Draw Alpha, activate Spellbound. I guess they just want to lock down the field again. Okay, that's fair. So switch to attack. Natasha effect, gain a thousand life points, battle phase, alpha, attacking the unicorn, lose life points. Uh, okay, so we did it on the one that we lowered. Are we crashing like everything? So crash, 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 and then just playing main phase two. Link Kribo crash, watch, actually crashing everything besides Apo. Ritual spell, get rid of alpha, bring out Ben 10. Then Alpha, Tribute, Special, go search, and then we have Ben 10 effect to go search. Uh, search Ben 10 off Alpha, Ben 10 go search, Unicorn effect, Apo shut that down, go search for Artifact Lancia. Then Natasha, Banish, take Unicorn, Special, Natasha, gain life points. Then link those off, make a IP Mascarena, Tribute Ben 10 for Gamma, Special, bring out from the graveyard. Then 10 effect to go search, grab out the third orange light, wow. Uh, now go up into Herald of Mirage lights, pass. Okay, so we're definitely going to land Sia again, right? Because we have this. So we have like orange light sent itself plus orange light shut something down. Land Sia shut something down. Effect sent orange light shut something down. Yeah, they drop the Osis, drop land Sia. Main phase, special summon out Fenrir. Then activate the Osis, go summon out Cash Tier Unicorn. Then activate Field Spell Effect to lower the level. Uh, Fenrir Effect now to go search. Appalooza shut that down. Unicorn Effect to go search. They said okay. Search out Birth. Then Normal Summon out Rise. And then attempt to go Battle. They said okay. Start a battle phase. Tribute Zeta. Summon out Link Karibo. So now. They have to attack into that Link Karibo effect, and then go ahead beat over the Herald of Mirage Lights effect to go ahead and add back two, add back Ritual Spell, and then add back Ben 10. Okay, main phase two, activate Birth, Birth effect. This can't add back from Banish, right? Just gonna double check, I'm pretty sure it can't. Yeah, it can't, all right, all right, all right. Activate Birth, Birth summon out Unicorn, then overlay, make a Draco sack, Draco sack, detach, chain orange light, shut that down, pass, draw talons. Okay, finally, we can finally win the game. Natasha, go steal unicorn, summon, take, then Natasha effect, gain life points, then link off into a Boral sword, Natasha effect, summon, take, catch to your rise heart, switch to attack, end the main phase is gonna say they have scare claw, but they're gonna lose anyways. Okay, on to the next game. So, on to game number three. That was a wild game, too, though. I gotta say, that that was a longer game, too, than I thought it would have ever been. Uh, but I guess, you know, Spellbound actually is pretty decent against this deck, going second for their other turn, which is, like, cool to see. Uh, we got Ben 10, Nova, Emergency, Zeta, Nova. They have Judgment, Fenrir, Unicorn, Birth, Planet. And then Special Summon Out, Unicorn. So, okay, they have, like... Full combo here. Unicorn go search out the Osis. Planet go search. Grab out Fenrir. Activate Birth. Normal Fenrir. Fenrir effect. Search out Kestira. Rise Heart. Overlay into a Draco Sack. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you for finally showing an opponent who doesn't go Shang Pass. It happens every single time. I mean, it's still. What are we cooking? Oh, it's, just, it's just SP, right? Yeah. Okay. 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 Sure. 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 That That's fine. That's fine. SP effect go banish. Uh, banish unicorn. Birth summon out Fenrir. Yeah. That's fine. I mean... Yeah, that works. Summon out rise. Then rise effect go banish Theosis. Make him banish three face down. Uh, banish gamma, delta, emergency... So really just Gamma Delta. Uh, we don't even know how many copies of those cards they play, but I assume it's going to be more than one of each. Theosis Effect, grab back Unicorn, Overlay, go into a Shang, then Theosis, go summon out Fenrir, then Set Judgment, pass. Okay, draw Ben 10. So, 
All right, we got Judgment, Fenrir, SP, Shang and the Unicorn, Planet, Birth. Birth's like an actual interruption against this deck. Two Ben 10, two Nova, nice. Standby phase, Shang goes summon, bring out Kashira Unicorn. Main phase, activate Nova. Nova goes summon out Drytron Alpha. Then link off into a link Karibo. Tribute Ben 10 for Alpha. Summon goes search. And that's going to go ahead and grab out a Ben 10. Then Ben 10 effect to go search. Now the opponent. I was going to say they will unicorn. But okay. Uh, I guess like you know if you let Ben 10 go through. You could also get hit with orange light. Okay so we rip a Zeus. Then resolve Ben 10. Go search out Diviner. Then new chain link. Shang, lock, planet, pop, you know, try to cut them off with like an SP or something there. Normal summon diviner, diviner effect, dump Entus, Entus effect, pop the back row, chain SP on itself plus link Karibo, then judgment goes. So I, I guess you could argue to judgment this on summon to prevent that. Ah. Uh, I mean, you could, because, you know, Entus could have also targeted, like, a Fenrir, which was pretty solid. But I guess if Entus targets Fenrir, you just chain Fenrir onto Diviner, since Diviner had just resolved. Activate Emergency, go search out Gamma. Okay, let me get a grave it real quick. Res, sure. Then, get rid of Ben 10, summon Zeta, go search for Ritual Spell. Yeah, grab out the Drytron Ritual spell, then Ben 10 effect go search. Ben 10, go ahead, grab out the Cyber Angel Natasha. Then use Diviner plus Zeta, make Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Phoenix, discard, pop, birth. Sure. Then, I mean, we have Ritual spell, get rid of Gamma, summon back out. Uh, do we summon back out from Grave? I was going to say, we do have Natasha, so. Okay, but they're going to go ahead, summon out Ben 10. Then Gamma, Tributes. Special, special, Ben 10 go search, then Fenrir to banish Gamma. Yeah, and SP banished the Link Karibo, so it's not like we have that engraver that could like chain tribute dodge. Um, so now they're gonna go search for a orange light, ritual effect, ritual spell effect, add back, lose a thousand, activate tribute, summon out Natasha, then forgot to use Natasha effect there to gain life points, summon SP. Uh, SP. Okay, so, uh, we didn't have game, though. Like, we couldn't, we couldn't go take, right? Because, I mean, we have Natasha to take twice. So, like, take, take. I mean, this wasn't summon this turn. This was summon last turn. So, you just switch it to attack, right? And then you could go, like, battle, attack. Like, you just make, like, a random link. Or, you could, I mean, you could even summon SP and just not use the effect, right? But you could also go up into, like, a Nightmare Unicorn, which they probably play. And then go ahead, steal. Then, like, yeah, Nightmare Unicorn, Kashira Unicorn, Fenrir. Or you can make SP first, right? Not use the effect. Because uh, I don't know if we play Axis Code. I mean, we probably do. But like, we saw Boral Sword. So, then they could go Natasha, steal. Natasha, steal. Fenrir banish this. Yeah. Okay. We have Orange Light. SP banishing. Uh, it just feels like had to have been game there. There's no shot. Natasha's broken. Summon. Take Fenrir. Effect. Gang 12. I had game. Drytron too hard to play. Yeah! Okay, yep. They knew that they had game. Okay, I was like, that's for sure a game. Like, and you know... One of the cards in hand, you know, Unicorn, technically you don't know Fenrir, because they plan to search Fenrir, the normal summon of Fenrir, the second one in hand, but you do have Orange Light anyways, and we never had to use Nightmare Unicorn effect. End phase, get back SP, get back Link Karibo, and then pass turn, they draw a Pot of Prosperity, so now activate Pot of Prosperity to go banish, banishing six, Zeus, Babuska, another Zeus... Okay, two Zeus is wild. Uh, then look at the top six. Okay, so... Hmm. Uh, I feel like it's just going to be a birth. So we can summon and then start playing from there. Yeah, it's like technically you could... Oh, it's so awkward. 
it's awkward because you have Planet, they have Link Karibo, they have Orange Light. Yeah, it's like you just have to grab Birth. I was going to say, you can't like grab Book, Book, the Fenrir, Battle Phase, Crash SP's main phase 2 play freely. That's just never going to work for a, a hundred reasons. Birth, Summon Out Fenrir, Normal Summon Unicorn, Battle Phase, SP Attack, Link Karibo, Effective Link Karibo. Um, okay. Yeah, I was going to say, you could chain those, but then they can start doing stuff. Uh, now we're going to go ahead, beat over the SP Little Knight, beat over Fenrir, effect, try to banish Natasha. Now they're going to orange light the Fenrir, chain SP onto Fenrir, Fenrir. Yeah, uh, Unicorn, go search out Kashtira Theosis. Theosis, summon out Kashtira Rise Heart. Rise Heart effect, go banish. That could also just banish, uh, wait. Well, I guess we can't banish Theosis. We already went through all of them. Okay. Banish an Alpha from their deck there. And then Overlay. Go up into Dark Arm. Dark Arm effect. Pop Natasha. Banish Theosis. Theosis. Grab back Fenrir. Okay. Uh, the Fenrir that you controlled. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then get back to this. Then said. They're going to bring out... Um, yeah, no XYZ's battled. I guess it wouldn't matter. We banished both Zeus anyways. Uh, they said the Fenrir, wait, it said it would have come back to my field, the Fenrir that's in my hand. You don't understand the question. If he did not take it back, I'm not sure he would have come back to my field. Yes, it would have come back to you. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, it, it goes back. Normally, like, if it's under, like, talents, it goes back and then they steal it. Uh, they draw into a Lancia. Okay, but we have Natasha, and we have a bunch of Drytrons. So Natasha, take Fenrir, summon, and then they're thinking, okay, they're going to go ahead and chain SP. There's still a summon, though, right? Target one monster opponent control, special summon this card, and if you do take control of that. Yeah, so it should still summon. It's still specials. Yup. Uh, also, this can target itself, right? Target one face up. Yeah, forgot the gaining life points again. Oh, no. Uh, but I guess it doesn't matter. Tribute Natasha, summon out Alpha, go search Draco Nids, Ritual Spell Effect, add back. Then we have, uh, Banish for Natasha, go steal Dark Armed Effect, gain, a, gain some life points, target the Dark Armed Attack, Tribute for Zeta, summon, we have Moo Beta, we have Ritual Spell, Detach 2, summon back out. Dump Delta, activate, boom, boom, summon, game. Yup, know, battle phase game. No, they didn't say GG's. Said Drytron best deck. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, they also had main phase 2 effect of this that could go ahead and pop birth also. And, like, you know, the opponent's obviously behind here. Yeah, you know, I mean, they're going down to zero life points. Uh, they could have also won the turn before. But, okay, we're going to go ahead and see that the match was about 55 minutes long. But also, if their extra deck is, like, this free, right? Like, they're not playing, like, any of the extra deck packages, really. Then, I mean, if you're just playing the Draco Sack IP stuff, then you could also be playing double SP. And the other SP would have won them the game there because they could have banished Natasha. The other SP can come up, too, if you want to banish Theosis. Because, I mean, you saw... You know, that game where we banished Unicorn from our graveyard, then banished Theosis from our deck to be able to get back. Like, that is, that's like a real play that comes up in Cash Tira like a good amount of times. But you can also SP banish Theosis and Theosis add back. It's also a play that comes up. Not as often, but it definitely does come up. Um, but alright, yeah, that was interesting. So that's why they played the Wind Charmer. I was wondering why they, like, played this. I mean, sure, you can take Baron, but, like, who's summoning Baron right now? Not too many people. Well, okay, Draco sack that and not into the SP. Sure, sure, that works. Um, okay, but with all that being said, that's it for the match and the DB grinder. Signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.